Hey, welcome back to Wolves Weekly. Guys, I remember like it was yesterday, I was in second grade at God City Boo Hill Museum. And my mom and dad were there, and they were wandering around part of the store uh, where you buy your curios. And I was in another place, and a radio station was there. And the radio folks were out interviewing people. Well, they came by and interviewed this little second grader, me. And uh, they asked me my name. I told my name. They asked me, do you play baseball in the summer? And I remember my response. It was, yes. My dad says I'm the best one on the team. And uh, my mom and dad could hear that somewhere else in the store and they're rolling their eyes. And the truth is, was I the best on the team? And now nah, I wasn't even close. But, uh, but, you know, my dad was trying to boost me up. But I was not self-aware of who I was at the time. At my, uh, when you're young, you think you're, the whole world is there and you can do anything. And I love that about our kids. But as you grow, you need to become more self-aware of your strengths, your weaknesses, how, that make, uh, how your feelings impact what you do, how, how you think impacts what you do, uh, and even how your learning styles. We all know, all of you out there have different learning styles as well. You can tell me how you learn best because of the years experience you've had even come up through being a mom and dad so we challenge you as we do that in our school we're going to work hard on that as part of this in self-awareness is one of our habits uh, to be able to help our kids become more self-aware of what their strengths are what their weaknesses are and help them run with those strengths and develop the weaknesses that they need to develop to be able to become um, everybody that they want to be when they grow up and and we're counting on you and helping us with that and we will work hard on that so guys thank you the other part of that is i challenge you to keep working on your own self-awareness i know i do uh, how do, how do i respond to things how do i work with things does that does that matter? And it does. How I respond to others, how I work with others, what my strengths are and what my weaknesses are. So I challenge you to do that. I have with me here today, though, two people who are very self-aware of the amazing things they're doing. Two of our volleyball players from my number one ranked team in the state volleyball team at Willow Park High School, Delaney, B Delaney Batten and Sarah Gardner. Welcome, guys. Hi. Hello. Are you enjoying your volleyball season so far? Yeah, Absolutely. So much fun. It rocks, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, you guys have been great. Well, tell me a little bit about the work you put in this summer to get ready for today. Um, so we did do a lot of camps and then um, obviously playing together till the end of June uh, in a club team. Right. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the Lewis Palmer camp, which really did well for, I think, our confidence. So yeah, because we actually, like some of the best teams in the state last year, we were hanging with them really well. So, so it really so gave us a, a look an inside look of what the season's going to be like. So, Do you find yourself playing up to the competition? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I, I remember you playing. I, I got to go watch them at Buena Vista, who were not near as good physically as you guys. But, uh, and, you, and you may have played down a little bit, but they were down like eight points going into to game point and came back and beat them. And yeah. that shows character. Well, I was really proud of you guys for doing that. So we've got a big game tonight against number three. How, how's that set up? Um, oh, it's really exciting. I think that we really want to beat them because last year we came so close, and I think this year is just redemption year. And you know that no matter what the score is, you can come back. And yeah. they didn't know until it's over, is it? Yes. Yeah. So number three team in the state, the, uh, you're coming in. You suppose they're really looking for number one to knock you off? Oh, I bet they are. Yeah. I yeah. bet they're because they know how we were last year, and we almost got them. So. I'm sure they're ready. And here you come this year. I know. I think they're. Gonna, I, think we're I think a lot of people are going to be gunning for okay. us. Well, I'm, I'm proud of what you guys have done, and I'm looking forward to going to state this year and watching you guys. Right? Yes, sir. Oh, oh yeah. Good deal. So. Good deal. Oh, yeah. Well, hey, thank you for joining me, and thank you for tuning in to Wolf's Weekly. We'll catch you again next week.